admitted it. I said, if that's true, yes. so what? I didn't say it was true. But anyway, um, but that's if that's the true, question so what? to be decided then is, is there a God and has he revealed himself? And that's where again I think this pettiness needs to be pushed aside because I can't get to know you as a person. You're not just a scientific object. I can look at you through a, 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 a telescope or a magnifying glass. I could even dissect you and so on and so forth. But because you are a person, I cannot get to know you unless you're prepared to reveal yourself to me. So the fact that the claim of, of Christ to be the truth, to be God incarnate, that makes perfect sense to me because if there is a God who invented this wonderful, marvelous universe with all its science and all the rest, then he has taken the initiative in getting to know us and revealing himself to us. And he's revealed himself to us at the level we can understand. We're persons, he's a person. That at least makes sense. So one of the very important questions to ask is, is that really true? Or is this simply myth and fantasy? Well, myth and fantasy for me. Yeah, well, do you know, that disturbs me for the following reason. Reading your book, The God Delusion, you say that it's under scholarly dispute among historians that Jesus actually existed. Now, I checked with the ancient historians. That is not so. And it disturbed me. History is not natural science. But what I don't understand is this, why you would write something like that. I don't think it's a very important question uh, whether Jesus existed. There are some historians, most historians think he did. Some They certainly do. I couldn't um, find an ancient historian that didn't. Uh, well, there are one or two, but I don't really care, actually, because it, uh, precisely because it's petty. I mean, I cannot, I mean, if you could, you could possibly persuade me that there was some kind of creative force in the universe. There was some kind of uh, physical, mathematical genius who, who created everything. The expanding universe is as petty. And I find the contrast between standing tall in a silent and cold universe with no hope, believing that your moral sense must ultimately be illusion, you're crying for justice because most people will never get it because death ends everything. The contrast between that and enjoying the friendship, the personal friendship of God and knowing that ultimate justice will be done is immense. Well, but of the course basic it is. question is, is it true or not? Yeah, and that is the basic question. It is completely irrelevant if it's comforting, if it gives you hope, if it gives you happiness. That has nothing to do with whether it's true. That I agree with okay. entirely. So, so we need to know uh, whether it's true. Yes. Now, um, when you look at history, and uh, let's, let's leave aside, may, maybe I, I, I alluded to the possibility that some historians think Jesus never exists. I take that back. Jesus existed. However, if you're...